What's up, y'all? It's Naturally Engineered here with another video, and today I'll be showing you how I went from these old cornrows to these luscious curls. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. So I decided to remove my old crochet braids, but I do not have very much time to spare, so I won't be washing my hair right now. I want to go with something quick, so I'm going to be installing these Curls Curls clip-ins over my old crochet cornrows. The hair came packaged in this cute little bag, which included this pamphlet with a lot of useful information regarding preparation of the hair, um, steps on installation, as well as recommended products for the hair. The hair came in one thick bundle containing 10 pieces, and those 10 pieces should be enough for one full installation. The curl pattern of the hair is 3B3C, naturally curly in 16 inches, and the hair color is natural. And the first thing I noticed about the hair straight out of the packaging is how soft it is and how defined the curls are. All right, so next my pre-installation will include washing, conditioning, and adding a styling gel to the hair to define the curls, and then I'll allow it to air dry. The hair is all dry now, so the first thing I'm going to do is kind of fluff it with my hands to give it a little bit more volume. And then I'm just going to open those clips that come on each weft. Make sure I open those before I start installing and attaching the wefts to my hair. And then I'm just going to start in the back and placing the wefts from ear to ear and work my way all the way up. Now this will be a no leave out clip in style so as I make my way towards the top I'm going to explain to you all how to properly lay the wefts in order to make your part seamless. Now I do have some leave out on the right side but that is for some cornrows that I'm going to be adding to kind of spruce up the look a little bit. To create my seamless part, I'm going to use the flip over method and what I'm doing is I'm placing one weft right next to where I want my part to be but I'm placing it in the opposite direction and then I'm taking another weft and I'm placing it right up against the weft that I'm going to flip over. Now I'm just going to go in and fill in any empty spaces with the remaining hair that I have. Now with all of those gaps filled in, I'm going to continue to work on my part. And what I like to do is grab a few hairpins and I tug on the curls and pull them as close to my part as possible and pin them down. Now this is going to help the hair lay flatter where your part is and it's also going to help conceal the wefts. And y'all know I love me some braids, so of course I've got to add some to this style. I'm going to do that and then I'll add a cute hair accessory and be back to show you guys the finished look.
All right, I'm back with the final look, y'all. And to say I love the hair is probably an understatement. I really, really, really love how this style came out. I really love how natural the hair looks and feels. It has a very nice luster to it. And the hair is incredibly soft. Um, and some other things I noticed about the hair is that after washing, conditioning in the hair, I had very, very minimal shedding, which lets me know that the wefts are made pretty well. And then I wore the hair for about eight hours and never had any issues with tangling. So that's always a plus. I will be leaving Curls Curls hair information down below in the description box. So if you are interested in purchasing this hair, please make sure you take advantage of my discount code, which I will also provide below. And as always, I really, really appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch my video. And hopefully I was able to provide you with some useful information. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And leave any questions and comments below. I'll talk to you guys later.